All right, everyone, we've got the Bumble Bolt control panel here. Uh, Mike Nelson made this for the Bumble Bolt. Um, did a pretty cool job with it, actually. So I'm, I basically upgraded it a little bit here. Um, got the start button here, which runs the chopper through that relay there. That was originally in it when I got it. Um, I added two more of those that I had to find on eBay. Um, those are kind of difficult to find by the way you know you got to find the the one with the right coil in it and these are 120 volt 60 hertz coils um, there are a lot of them that are 24 volt coils and a lot that are 220 or more um, so pick those up about 25 bucks a piece used but they still work great so that's all right um, added those in now for the blower which is a bank teller vacuum reversed essentially that packs enough pressure to uh, somewhat effectively mimic the uh, roots supercharger so I've got blower now running through the, through the center one there once I get it all hooked up and then rotator running there and then there's uh, the chopper um, now I put those in because I'm going to be running uh, wireless remote control with this. I'm going to use basically the same components that I used in the gas powered 3T22. Um, I've got three one channel uh, remote relays coming, uh, each with their own remote. So I'll have momentary set up for this one and toggle and toggle for those so that I can basically just turn on the blower, turn on the rotator, and then cycle the chopper as I desire. Um, so those will mount up there in that empty space. I added an outlet to plug the AC adapter and I've got that coming too. Uh, 1000 MA, so 1 amp, um, 110 AC in to 12V DC out. So that'll run the relay boards then. Um, and then hook those up to, to trigger uh, each of these starters here. Um, the relays that are built in can only handle about 2 amps or so. Obviously, the <clears throat> rotator motor on startup draws more than that, as does the uh, um, the uh, blower. Um, but these relays, show you one of them. It says eight watts, but it uh, won't zero out. Starts at two, so that's really about six watts. Only six watts at that draws, so that'll be no problem for each of those relays. Um, yeah, so that's uh, where we're at so far. I'll do one more video when I get it all done, but I wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far with the wiring. Cleaned it up a little bit here. Um, he uh, provided this distribution block that was mounted right there when I got the siren, but I uh, basically added to it, cleaned the wiring up here. I've got uh, the blacks on one side all zip tied together, the whites on the other side zip tied. Um, Hot is switched as it should be. Neutral is constantly flowing through there. Um, and this outlet is constantly energized as long as I have the siren plugged in. So um, that uh, service entrance, I guess you can call it, is right on the side there. Um, well, I guess that's about... Uh, oh, I almost forgot. I'm looking into an Agastat timer, actually, for... Um, for the uh, blower and rotator so essentially one of those guys there like in the RCM1 panel for a, a Thunderbolt um, that essentially keeps the uh, rotator and blowers both running for however long you have it set for. I have this one set for six seconds um, after either the cycle is ended or you cancel it through the AR timer or AF if it's a 1003. Um, so I'll add that in and then I'll have the capability to run a remote uh, AR timer for this which would be kind of cool too then I could run a full cycle. So yeah that uh, I'm just waiting on a response from the guy from. Uh, hopefully I'll pick that up. I'm looking at another AR timer as well which would be pretty cool to pick up so I don't have to use my AF for a non-high-low capable siren. Um, plus, that is so nice. I'd rather uh, rather not have to tote that around portably with me, um, which the Bumble Bolt is set up for portability. So, uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.